Being a visual learner, I often find it hard to digest some complex math and statistical concepts without imagining in my head what it might actually look like. Studies have shown that 65% of us are visual learners, which means learning things visually is much faster and more effective for many of us. Then why don't we try to bring more visual elements into how we learn statistics, math, and data science? In this video, I want to share with you my collection of the most useful resources that can help you understand complex math and statistics much more easily. And I promise you, it's much more fun too. Explained Visually is a project aiming to make hard ideas intuitive. You can find here the visual explanations of a variety of mathematics and statistical concepts from ordinary least squares regression to eigenvectors, principal component analysis, and Markov chains. The best thing is you can interact directly with the visualizations, changing the parameters to inspect what's happening. I was the one who never really understood eigenvectors until I looked at the visualization in this website. Another amazing resource is Immersive Math. Immersive Math is an awesome interactive book about linear algebra. It's said to be the world's first linear algebra book with fully interactive figures. This book includes 10 chapters explaining all the fundamentals of linear algebra like vectors, matrices, linear mappings, eigenvectors, and eigenvalues. This book is freely available online. But be sure to read it on your computer rather than on your phone because some illustrations might be a bit slow to render. 3Blue 1Brown is a YouTube channel created by Grant Sanderson. To be honest, the channel's name is so tongue twisting that I can never really remember it. Unlike the other resources I'm showing to you, this channel is pretty well known, with almost 4 million subscribers at the time of creating this video. You can find really useful explanation videos on a wide variety of topics on math, statistics, and even quantum physics and bitcoins if you're interested. I found this channel while trying to find an intuitive way to explain the deep neural network backprop algorithm to my colleagues. His videos on neural networks are epic. He also has a playlist on linear algebra where it goes in-depth over vectors, matrices, eigenvectors, etc. So be sure to check it out. Seeing Theory is another interactive visual introduction to probability and statistics created by Daniel Kunin while being an undergraduate at Brown University. It currently covers six chapters, basic probability, compound probability, probability distributions, frequentist interference, Bayesian interference, and regression analysis. Each chapter contains interactive exercises to help you visualize and understand the concepts. I came across this amazing D3 visualization explaining how decision trees work using scrolling telling. It is the first visualization I've ever seen attempting to use storytelling to teach machine learning. And it looks so cool. This website also has another post explaining model tuning and bias variance trade-off, which is another essential concept every data scientist should know. The Distil website is another useful source for anyone who wants to learn deeper about the intuitions behind machine learning algorithms. It has a lot of good interactive articles. This visualization, for example, shows how effectively TSNE algorithm works for different types of patterns in the data. TSNE or T-distributed stochastic neighbor embedding is a nonlinear technique for dimensionality reduction which is particularly well suited for the visualization of high dimensional data sets because it can reduce the data dimension to essentially two or three dimensions. Another fun website I came across is this website of Mike Bostock, the creator of the JavaScript visualization library d3.js. On this website, he visualizes various computer science basic algorithms like sampling, shuffling, sorting, etc. To me, it's a lot of fun and it's very inspiring to look at these visuals. Even for things that you might take for granted like shuffling and sampling, you still learn something new about them by simply taking a different perspective. 
Thank you for watching this video and let me know in the comment section below if you find these resources helpful or if you know of other interesting resources on math and statistics that you want to share. Have fun learning and I'll see you next week. Bye bye!